Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton covering hole number five of the big rig tournament. This is going to be a par four, and I do pick up the eagle. Now, I'm still uh, suffering with massive disconnect reconnect issues. I am going to show you two different ways to play this hole. The first way is going to be super aggressive. You cannot afford to hit a great right shot. We're also going to need at least an extra mile nine or a decent powered APOC, right? Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to pick up an eagle in an easier way. But again, you got to be technical with the shot. You're going to go full top, T-bars, the side spin to the right. We're going to be putting our yellow ring right here on the tree, as you can see. We're not going to be adjusting for wind or elevation. This is almost a perfect headwind. Not quite, but almost. Here we're going with overpower. Look, overpower until the bottom of my ball is touching the bottom of the blue adjustment zone. It turns to yellow. And then half a ball to curl to the right. Now, we're going to pause it right here because we don't want that much curl. We need to reduce our curl to a fourth of a ball. You're going to see why. I hit a perfect shot, so this is going to give you a really good idea of how this hole is going to play if you hit perfect. Notice here that I'm going to clip the rough barely and roll out. So if I would have reduced my curl on the shot, that ball would have continued down the fairway towards the fringe, which would have been great. However, I can't complain because I'm getting a nice shot for an eagle with my wedge. One bar of side spin to the right, 20% at mid. It's going to be extremely important that you check your own distance of your club. There's no way that you and I are probably going to have the exact same yardage on the drive. You might get a better rollout than me, especially if you have an extra mile nine. If you hit perfect with an APOC and you do less curl, you might just end up taking a chip shot or a putt in for the eagle. But super important to check your own distance of your club. I'm playing it at mid with one bar of side spin to the right, and I get this ball to drop in perfectly into the hole. This is one way to play. I'll show you another way after this. But so far, even with massive disconnect reconnect issues, we dropped hole one, hole in one on hole two, got the hole in one on hole four, and the eagle here on hole number five. Now, if you have lesser level clubs or you don't want to spend a berserker in um, qualifying, you can go with a no moving target shot here. There's that reconnect. Two bars of backspin, one bar of side spin to the right, as you see. You don't have to worry about the yardage on the drive. Um, so two bars of backspin, one to the right is good. And then you can move your target whenever it's time to adjust after your spin. Here we hit a perfect ball. And you're going to see this thing comes in nicely, and it just stops on the fairway. Again, reconnecting like crazy. This has been a mild one. It's been happening a lot more than this. Um, now, shot number two here. This is not a, a great look, but at least it shows you we can play our sniper at minimum distance. I'm using the kingmaker here only because we really need this side spin to the right. You can tell here that this, this green has a massive slope from right to left. And we're really going to catch that, unfortunately. Uh, if you're taking this shot, I'm going to suggest you offset this after your spins by two green squares to the right of the hole. So big offset, um, perfect ball here. This, this new hole location makes this one a lot harder to drop from this angle. This hole used to be a really good horizon shot, uh, but you can see here we're missing by about two green squares, green squares to the left. So I would offset big to the right hand side. Okay. That's hole number five, two different ways to play. I hope this helps. Please subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up. Please be patient. I'm going to continue just kind of take breaks and see if this game gets us reconnecting issues figured out. Thanks everybody.